the people who was hammered with these lies, in fact, had her run for president essentially derailed by them, is Tulsi Gabbard, the former congresswoman from Hawaii. She's been telling the truth since the beginning. She's been attacked for it. And now she joins, she joins us to look back on that experience. Congresswoman, thanks so much for coming on. I remember when you were running for president, again and again, you're an apologist for a man who used chemical weapons against his own people. How, how do you think about that now that the truth is emerging? Uh, well, when this was all happening, Tucker, I was asking the same question that you were. Where is the evidence? Where is the evidence that would provide the basis for the U.S. to launch a military strike against Syria? And that evidence was never presented. And it's very clear now, as time has gone on, that uh, there was a cover-up. And why was there a cover-up? It became very clear that uh, this, this OPCW report, the final report, was tailored before it was actually released in order to provide cover for that unconstitutional military strike that the United States launched against Syria in April of 2018. And, and really, what's at stake here is um, the credibility of, of this international organization, the OPCW, that people are supposed to be able to trust to be a neutral entity, to provide objective facts based on what their investigators have found on the ground. And it's very clear that that did not happen in this instance. And the impact of this is not only the credibility of this investigation into this, this uh, alleged uh, chemical weapons attack in Douma in Syria, but it will impact and undermine the credibility of all past reports and investigations from the OPCW, as well as any future uh, reports and investigations they conduct. It begs and calls into question their very integrity. Everything you said is absolutely true. It doesn't answer the question I've been mulling over for about five years now. Why is this a third rail? Of all the things you could have said and, you know, gotten away with effectively, the one thing they couldn't handle was calling into question a missile strike in Syria. Why was that such a sensitive subject for so many in Washington? Uh, well, look, you know, you look at look at the warmongers in the different countries that have been involved, and you see everyone coming together, not, not unlike what happened uh, with the war in Iraq, where people were criticized then for merely asking questions about these alleged weapons of mass destruction, the evidence that was used as a, uh, the so-called evidence that was used as an excuse uh, to go to war. So you look at the people who benefit from this ongoing, continued regime change war uh, in Syria, and, and you can kind of start to connect the dots about why uh, merely asking the question of, hey, where is the evidence? If you're right. going to send our service members out to conduct a mission and use American taxpayer dollars to do it, an unconstitutional military strike on another country, you think you'd want to have the evidence to be able to back up such a serious, serious action. And, and really, at this point, the only way we can move forward in a constructive way is for the OPCW to do exactly what we are calling for in this letter, provide open, transparent forum in order for these investigators to be able to really examine all of the facts that were put together and put them forward for the public. Really quick, because I can't resist, in a functioning country, or, or if you want your country to function, don't you want responsible adults in positions of authority to step forward at critical moments, like before you send bombs in, to say, hold, hold so down, do we have the evidence? Isn't that, what you, isn't that the system that you want? I will tell you, Tucker, as a soldier and as a veteran and twice deployed to the Middle East, that is exactly the kind of system and leadership that we want. Uh, yeah. This is one of the reasons why I ran for president, because that responsibility that the commander-in-chief has in moments like this to make the right decisions, to ask the tough questions, that's the kind of leadership and judgment that the American people deserve. Yeah, and don't have. Tulsi Gabbard, it's great to see you tonight. Thank you. Thank you.